All right, so we're going to find the derivative uh, using implicit differentiation for this. So starting off here, um, the first part, I'm actually going to use the product rule. So this becomes y plus x y prime, and then plus 2 plus 6x. So what happens, and then um, derivative of 4 is just equal to 0. So, All right, so what happens here is I'm going to move everything over to the right side of the equation except for x, y prime. So I'm going to have x, y prime is equal to negative um, 2 minus 6x minus y. And I'm going to divide through by x. So here's our implicit differentiation. So y prime is equal to negative 2 minus 6x minus y divided by x. Okay, so then uh, solve the equation explicitly for y and differentiate to get y prime in terms of x. Okay, we already did that. Um, check that your solution to parts a and b are consistent by substituting the expression for y into, into your solution for part a. All right, actually, for part b, solving this explicitly, this would be... Um, this would be... Uh, y is equal to um, 4 minus 2x minus 3x squared <clears throat> divided by um, x. And then we'd solve using the quotient rule. And, uh, or, well, we could do this. So 4, y is equal to 4x negative 1 minus 2 minus 3x. And then the derivative of this is y prime is equal to um, 4x to the negative 2 minus 3. Okay, so solve this. So plug, um, so part C, um, check your solutions for part to parts A and B are consistent by substituting expressions for y into the part ins to part A. All right, so it means I'm going to plug in um, part B into part uh, A, and we'll see if we get out um, the same thing. So, all right, so y prime is equal to negative y minus 2 minus 6x over x which is what I had in part A. Um, <clears throat> so y prime is equal to negative 4x to negative 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 6x over x. And simplified down, this becomes four x to the negative two minus three. Okay, that's it.